All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Reggie Hayes here with Expert Village, and we're talking about choosing or, or putting together your home theater systems, and in particular, uh, let's get into receivers. Now, you get this nice receiver at the store, and you get it home. Let me tell you, the first thing to do before you even hook it up is you pull this out right here. Trust me, read it. It doesn't matter where you read it, in the bathroom, whatever, doesn't matter. And, and guys, I'm talking to you especially because I know how we can be sometimes, but trust me, this will save you a lot of headaches and a lot of confusion down the road. Now, when you're picking a stereo, don't pick one for the, for the things that you need today. Pick one for the stuff you think you might have later on down the road. If you think you're going to have um, a high-definition DVD player down the road, and I know those are coming out, um, it's good to take those things into consideration when you're choosing an audio receiver. Now, this one in particular does video and audio at the same time. In other words, when you select a uh, component right here, whether you're switching from your VCR, your DVD player, your, your cable box, anything like that, you, uh, it, it also switches the audio and the video. So that's a really cool feature to have. Um, and as you can see right here, this one is set up for high-definition TV, which is another cool thing to have, and uh, they're really starting to put these into stereo receivers these days. Um, the reason you would want a stereo that would switch uh, video with the audio is if you've got uh, a TV that has very limited inputs. Now, looking at the back of this stereo, it looks pretty intimidating, right? I mean, you've got a lot of stuff back here. You have all these inputs, or, or excuse me, all these outputs for speakers. Uh, you have all these inputs for uh, 7.1 surround sound. And you have all these video inputs. Trust me, the easiest thing, the easiest thing that you can do whenever you uh, are looking at these stereos is to figure out one thing, all right? You have to figure out, is the audio leaving or is the audio coming in? And trust me, if you can figure that out, you'll be a lot better off. So, wrapping it up here, if you look at it, this is going to have a video out. This is going to go out to your TV, but it's going to accept all these video inputs. And the cool thing about it is, they're all labeled. So, it's a lot of stuff right here. And the same thing with the audio. The audio is either going to come in or it's going to go out. Uh, it, it may need to go out to the VCR uh, to record, or it may need to go out to a DVD recorder, uh, anything like that. So, anyway, that's pretty much it for stereo receivers, and um, good luck.